Hi, my name is Kyle. I'm a Servo City, and I'm here to talk to you about the HS785 HB Servo made by Hitech. It's a quarter scale servo, uh, but the nice thing about this one is it's a multi turn servo. Uh, it's not like a standard continuous rotation servo, and then it still has positioning feedback because it has an internal potentiometer. The reason it can do multi turns with an internal potentiometer is due to the fact that there's a gear ratio in between the potentiometer inside and the final output shaft that it's, uh, that it's driven by. So most servos, they rotate about 90 degrees with a standard PWM signal or 180 degrees with a 600 to 2400. This can rotate about 4.25 rotations with a standard 1050 to 1950 microsecond signal like what I have on the dual servo driver here. Or it could actually rotate about eight and a half turns if you send a 600 to 2400 signal, say if you're using a microcontroller <clears throat> like an Arduino board. So on this, when it receives a PWM signal, basically it's going to go to that corresponding position. So if I rotate the knob to a specific position on the dual servo driver, the servo is going to find that point and stop when it gets there. This servo has 183 ounce inches of torque, so it's got good torque running on 6 volts. Its voltage range is 4.8 to 6 volts. We use this servo in a lot of different kits here at Servo City, uh, just because it is multi-turn and it's nice that you don't have to modify the servo in order to get more rotation or have an external potentiometer or anything like that. It's really easy to use. So the first kit I'm going to show you is going to be a servo power gearbox. This happens to be our tube gearbox with a one inch shaft so you can run all kinds of wires and things like that through the center board without worrying about having them get tangled up on you. So I went ahead and installed a seven to one ratio on this gearbox. You can run any ratio from two to one all the way up to seven to one. Seven to one is going to give you the most torque and the most precision because you've geared it down in order to get uh, less rotation out of the servo. Um, if you don't find that, you know, this one rotates about 220 on a 1050 to 1950 microsecond signal. If you wanted to get more rotation, you could send a 600 to 2400 and get just over one rotation on a 7 to 1 ratio. Or you could always change out your gear ratio if you're running a more narrow signal. next kit that we have is going to be the 785 gear rack kit. It uses a 32 pitch gear rack, a 16 tooth 32 pitch pinion gear, and basically as the servo rotates, which once again we're using the 785 HB servo, then it's going to run that gear rack back and forth. Um, running on the dual servo driver with the 1050 to 1950 microsecond signal, I'm getting about 6.7 inches of movement on it. If you want to run full lock to lock, you could send a wider signal from an Arduino or microcontroller and, uh, and reach each end. So this thing has a lot of thrust to it. It's going to be able to move a, a big load and it has a, a lot of different uses. The nice thing about the gear rack kit is it does have the Octobotics pattern up on the top like a lot of our parts do. So you could bolt this to you know, channel or any other hub bracket or anything like that in order to integrate it into your project. Next we have a 785 slider kit. The slider is similar to the gear rack and then it's creating linear motion from a rotational motion out of the servo. But instead of using gears, we're using pulleys and belts. We use an XL series pulley and belt to drive this. We have the 785 servo mounted into a quarter scale servo mount and then it's running a quarter inch D shaft that's coupled to the servo with one of our servo to shaft couplers. And we're running a 15 tooth pulley on this so every rotation of the pulley moves the belt about three inches which is going to move your, your acetyl slider three inches as well. Running on the dual servo driver looks like we're getting about 12.75 inches of movement. Uh, if you want to go the full travel, just send a wider signal to it and you can go all the way down to the end. The 
Last thing I'm going to show you is going to be the PT785S pan and tilt. It's a servo driven pan and tilt with the HS785 high tech servo installed in both the pan system and the tilt system. This one happens to be a 3.8 to 1 ratio installed on this PT785S. We do offer it with a 7 to 1 ratio as well if you want to gear it down and get more torque or more precision or low end, uh, low end speed. So let's go ahead and plug it in and see how it works. Okay, so with the 3.8 to 1 ra uh, ratio on this PT785S, you'll find that it rotates just over one turn running a standard PWM signal of 1050 to 1950 microseconds. Um, if you had a 600 to 2400, this thing would do actually just over two turns. So if you're running that 600 to 2400 and you wanted to get one rotation out of it, you could run the 7 to 1 ratio and it'd still give you just over one turn. And uh, it'd, it'd pack those points of reference in on the servo so it'd be a lot more precise as well. This pan and tilt system is great for FPV units, uh, guys that are wanting to put a, you know, a sensor or a, um, an antenna or uh, something like that on this to, to move it around and have very specific positioning because when it receives a PWM signal, it's going to go to that exact location. So that's basically it, the HS785 HB servo to recap, it's a multi-turn servo with an internal potentiometer, it's a quarter scale size, runs on 4.8 to 6 volts, and it has 183 ounce inches of torque. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.